Right, everybody, there's my lovely Corvette, my pride and joy, and uh, I had a little bit of a mishap. I wanted to take it out, get it all valeted. Um, it's been standing for a few months, and uh, you know, it's a lovely looking car. I love it, my pride and joy. But uh, I had a little bit of a mishap, just a little one. The uh, engine caught fire and uh, it went very quick. I didn't get a chance to <laughs> try and put it out myself. Fire brigade came. Um, as you can see, you can see the damage. Uh, I'm a bit over it now, but at the end of the day, it's only material things. As everyone said, luckily I weren't in it because I do tend to fall asleep a lot. And uh, as my brother said, well, that would have been the end of you, Lee. You've been toast. But you see my Trans Am over there. Well, I had trouble because the keys were still in the Corvette and the keys on, on uh, to the Trans Am were on the Corvette. So while this is blazing, I know it was stupid. I was trying to get the keys out the ignition to get the Trans Am out of the way and with the panic it, the keys wouldn't come out eventually got the keys out got into the Trans Am and usually it starts first time it did start but then because I was trying to get it out quick it kept conk stalling on me oh I was going backwards slightly every foot this is getting bigger and bigger um, uh, my heart was pounding like 19 to the dozen and there's a lady that luckily phoned the fire brigade said, get out, get out, get out. Anyway, I've managed to get the Trans Am out, but you can see some blister work along there. I'm with the same insurance company. Uh, yeah, that was, that was it. I phoned up the insurance company and when they went through everything, they said, you're not insured. I said, you what? They said, you're not insured. You was last insured this on 2022. I said, I'd just done it 29th of May. I was with Martin at the time. He looked at me, I looked at him, I nearly cried. Anyway, cut a long story short, went back through everything, got the, the numbers and everything. Anyway, yes, it is insured. Thank goodness for that. So, I've not had a very good week this week, folks. As you know, my poor little daughter went in hospital with COVID. <laughs> she's, she's a fight and she's made it, thank goodness. And then, I was driving a couple of days ago to... Uh, my mum's, and I must have missed it by seconds, a car had crossed over the road, hit the, hit the, hit the telegraph pole, and the car caught a light. And then this happens to me two days later. Am I a jinx? Am I a Jonah? So they say things happen in threes. I don't want any more bad luck. Anyway, look. Yeah, the old tranny got a little bit. As you can see, but my mate said, oh, shame, a good job it weren't your camper van. Well, yes and no, I like my camper van, but I love my little Corvette. I've always wanted one since I was three years old. <laughs> and look, if I had known, see these T-tops? Well... Of course, with all the, 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 the commotion and running around, I, got, I, I left keys here everywhere. I didn't know where I was. I was trying to get the car at Trans Am out. I was trying to sort the... Anyway, if I take taken these off, because they were, like, new, they're worth £1,500 a pair. They're gone. Mind you, look, the back's all right. Back tyres are OK. Front one's not very good. I've, I belong to this American club, and... Uh, I said, if I took this down on a trailer, I bet I'd get more looks than all the other American cars here. And I'll, I'll, I'll probably win a trophy as it being its class of its own. Oh. Anyway, donations are welcome. Oh yes, and it's done that to me conservatory. Uh, it's, uh, I haven't really looked at it yet. Oh my God.
cold, look at that. That's all gone. Oh dear. Oh well. <laughs> oh, look, my bushes. Oh, my tree got a little bit burnt. I'm still here. Lee Van Kant's still here. Do you want to buy a car? Going cheap. Only had two owners. It's the hottest Corvette you'll ever find. Didn't touch the inside. And do you know what? The doors <laughs> still open and shut. <sighs> oh, it did touch a little bit inside. Yeah, oh well. <sighs> I said, oh well. Yeah, oh well, oh well, oh well. So all those who uh, have a drink when I say oh well, have a few on me. Oh well, oh well, oh well. Oh, I don't drink anymore, but I could do with a bottle of whiskey. Well, after... Oh, oh dear. <sighs> well, there you are, folks. You've seen it first hand. <sighs> My lovely Corvette. <sighs> I, could, I could cry, but... What's the point? What's the point? There's people worse off, as I say. That is material, it's only metal, it can be replaced. And uh, previous to the uh, Corvette catching fire, this is what happened a few days before when I was driving along to go to meet my mum to take her to the hospital. I must have missed this by seconds, as you can see. Um, and this has happened all in one week, as you know. A poor little Coletti went into hospital with COVID. Now that happened, and then after that, as you saw in the, the, the first bit of film, me Corvette caught fire. So is Lee Van Camp a jinx? Am I a Jonah? 
They say things happen in threes. Anyway. What can I say? I, I hope I'm not a Jonah or a Jinx. Anyway, I'm still here to tell the tale. Anyway, I want to like, while I'm on, thank you to all my subscribers, and if you do watch any more of my films, <laughs> because it, it, you won't become a Jonah or a Jinx by watching these. No, no, that doesn't. It doesn't happen that way. But anyway, thank you very much for subscribing and watching, and please share and tell everyone about Lee Van Camp. Thank you.